Hello guys, welcome to another quick lesson on Laravel. In today's lesson, we are going to simplify a code, a database query, a little bit. This lesson is actually for beginners, so if you have that confidence already in Laravel, you might just want to skip or stick around. So, what I have on the screen is the code we are going to simplify, you know, at least a little bit. You can see that here, this is just trying to get shares from the table using multiple conditions, right? So I have two cases actually. The first case is this for a simple condition. The second case is a little bit more complex. So the first case is this. We are trying to get shares where category is exactly whatever category that was passed in the request, right? We are the number of legs is exactly so. This is equality. We are category is equal to we are leg is equal to we are color is equal to and we are height is equal to. That is the first case. In the second case, we make things a little bit um interesting. So, in this case, we want to get shares where the name contains the the word or what do I call it the letters F O together like that so this is how you can do something like that where the name is like that um let's look at another one you can see here we are looking for shares where the height is less than four whether that is four feet or whatever that's not our our interest our focus here and then um okay so you can see that this is a little bit different it's not just simple equality right that is why we are actually writing this this way but what we can do is to actually you can see that we have so many where conditions calling the method where changing the method over and over again so it means that if we have like 20 conditions we want to check we are going to have 20 ways that doesn't look too clean before we actually clean up that, let me quickly show you the setup I have here. So I just have a share model, an eloquent model, and this is the table the, for the migration. This is the table. Then in the database seeder file, I have this, this line of code, these pieces of code that insert some records in the database table so if i open the table this is it so basically when i run php artisan db seed it's going to insert 150 records now we are 150 records in the table so those are just basic stuff it's not our focus but just so you understand what we are working with right now the first case is a very simple one. What we actually have to do is just to write one line of code that will return the same exact result, even if the cases are, I don't know how many, whatever they are. And to do that, I will just write another query. I will call that query B. Query B to be equal to share, oh, not that share. We are, uh, I'll pass something inside in a moment. So you can see that we have this validate. So the validated met, um, result is always a key value pair array. So we can just pass that filter here. That will give us the same thing that we have up, right? Actually, let me return both query A and query B. Here we two queries. So this is just how we can write this. Of course, that works if we are just using whatever that is passed um, in the request validate as we have here. What I will do now is to call the endpoint. We um, the endpoint. Let me open the the route 
API route. So inside the API route, I have this one endpoint that is for the method index that we are working with in the share controller. This is share controller, by the way. So I will go ahead to call the endpoint. So we head over to Postman. You can use whatever clients you prefer. This what I have here is a GET request to the to the endpoint shares. So what I have, let me actually remove this so you can see that. You can see that I just have a GET request to that endpoint, right? The URL slash API slash shares. And these are the, the things we are we are validating inside this inside here those um query strings. So if I call this endpoint send, you can see that we have both query A and the query B, the two queries, and they give us the same result, right? ID nine, ID eleven, ID. 40 the same thing here id 9 id 11 id 40. so for a simple case like this where you are basically utilizing the same thing that was validated you can just pass that to your query without having to do all these weird clause weird conditions like that so let's move on to something a little bit more complicated what is going on here is that actually let me comment this out so it doesn't affect our results what we have here is i've already explained so you can see that the conditions are not just simple equalities like this like this you know if i go ahead to call this right now we have only query x Call it share as x, it doesn't matter. Let me just name it to query so just a little bit consistent. So this is query x. If I go ahead, go to postman and call this, um, we get one result, right? Of course, because the conditions are different than what we have up there. Now, what I want to do is to at least remove all these where multiple ways right how do we do that we can actually make an array so let me call that condi conditions to be an array so this is going to contain some nested array i'm going to use the same con come on, the same conditions we have up here so nested arrays take note right these are nested arrays Comma. So to save us some time, I just pause the video. I pause the video and um, copied everything. The same conditions we have up here. So what are we going to do? Just similar to what we did up there. We are going to just pass the conditions to our query. Can we just call that query y? Query y to be equal to share where we say conditions and of course get so let's just also show the two results i will save and run so what is happening here is basically we create an array and we pass um that condition Take note that here I am just hard coding the values, right? The, the values for our conditions. This is just to save us some time. We could actually pass the same thing from the from postman or something like that. So now I don't need all these because I had coded the condition. So here on postman, I will remove everything there. We don't need it. So we're just calling the endpoint. I will click send. So you can see that query x and query y we get the same exact result. The only difference, however, is that we have simplified this, right? So it means that, for example, if this is a condition we are going to reuse at multiple places, we can just reuse the same condition without 
having to do all those ways like you did above. So let's call this query Z. Oh, come on. Query Z, we just use that same. Uh -uh. Okay. Copy and paste, not good. So, here is Z. We're using the same conditions we have here. So, I will go ahead and call this one more time. You see that including query Z, we have the same exact result. So, this is just how you can further simplify uh, cases where you have something like this or these multiple VA calls. Alright, guys. So, that is it for the lesson. Until next time. Happy coding. Coding.